Materials Engineering Review Class Exam Part 2 by Engineer Pogs. Don't forget to click the subscribe button para updated kayo sa aking latest upload. Number 11. Thus, for a given soil with a given amount of compacted effort, there is a water content at which the weight of the soil grains obtained in a unit volume of the compacted soil mass is maximum. This water content is Paiksiin natin yung term na weight of the soil grains obtained in a unit volume of the compacted soil mass just simply means weight over volume, therefore it means density. Going back to our Proctor curve, yung value ng moisture content corresponds to the maximum density of the soil ang tawag sa kanya ay optimum moisture content. Therefore, the answer is letter D, optimum moisture content. Number 12. You are an experienced material engineer of your firm. During compaction, you found out that the soil is too wet. What economical recommendation will you give? Take note, tinatanong tayo ng economical recommendation. So letter A, reject the soil. Hindi natin agad i-reject yung soil kasi hindi naman sinabi na unsuitable yung material. And it is not economical. Letter B, remove and replace the soil. Kapag ito yung ginawa natin, parang sinabi na din natin na nire-reject natin yung soil. Letter C, continue compaction. Since too wet na nga yung soil, kahit mag-apply pa tayo at mag-apply ng compaction effort sa soil, hindi na to totally magko-compact pa. Therefore, the economical recommendation is to scarify and dry the soil by exposing it to air under suitable conditions. Scarify means bungkalin. Number 13, clays when removed from the barrow pits come out in the form of chunks. If you are the assigned material engineer in the field, what is the most suitable compacting equipment will you recommend? Isaysay natin lahat ng type ng roller na nakalagay sa choices. Tandem roller, vibratory roller, pneumatic tied roller, and the ship's foot roller. Among these four, the most recommended type of roller to remove chunk of soil is the ship's foot roller. Pero in reality ay hindi pa rin ako nakakakita ng ship's foot roller. Number 14, the liquid limit of the soil is 30, the plastic limit is 19, the plasticity index will be, the given in the problem are liquid limit 30, plastic limit 19. The formula for the plasticity index is equal to liquid limit minus plastic limit, that was 30 minus 19, therefore the plasticity index is 11, and the answer is letter B, 11. Number 15, Assume that an A6 material has 55% passing the 0.075 mm or sieve number 200, liquid limit of 40, and plasticity index of 25. The group index GI will be... These are the given in the problem, percent passing 200 or F200, 55%, liquid limit or LL, 40, plasticity index or PI, 25. The formula of group index GI is given by F200 minus 35 multiplied by 0.2 plus 0 0.005 multiplied by LL minus 40 plus 0 0.01 multiplied by F200 minus 15 multiplied by PI minus 10. I-substitute lang natin sa formula lahat ng given sa problem and ang makukuha natin na answer is GI is equal to 10. And the answer is letter B, 10. Number 16, the term silty is applied to fine materials having a plasticity index of Based from AASH to soil classification system, mag-focus tayo sa portion na to, makikita natin sa column 1 yung plasticity index and the type of significant constituent materials. For the silty soils, the maximum value of plasticity index is 10. Kaya naman, Ang answer natin is letter A, 10 or less, since maximum value ng plasticity index ay 10. Number 17, the term clay ye is applied to pine material having plasticity index of Going back to AASH to soil classification system, clay soil is applied for soil having a plasticity index of minimum value of 11 or 11 or greater, which is letter B. Number 18, what do you call a material passing a sieve with 75 mm square openings and retained in number 10 sieve? Based from AASH to M145, definitions of gravel, sand, and silt clay, 
they define gravel as material passing sieb with 75 mm or 3 inches square openings and retained on the 2.0 mm or number 10 sieb. Therefore, the answer is letter D, gravel. Number 19. One kilometer of road embankment is spread at 200 mm layer with a width of 10 meters. The number of sets of field density tests will be Given in the problem are length of the road, 1 km, and width of the road, 10 meters. Based on the minimum testing requirements, for each 500 square meter of each layer of compacted fill or fraction thereof, at least one group of three in C2 density tests. Solving for the area of road embankment, since 1 km yung given, that was equal to 1,000 meter multiplied by 10 meter width, and the area is equal to 10,000 square meter. Solving for the number of tests, simply divide the 10,000 square meter with 500 square meter. Therefore, you need 20 set of 3 in C2 density tests. Therefore, the answer is letter A, 20. Number 20. The layer used in pavement system to reinforce and protect the subgrade or subbase, as shown in the figure, is the layering of road pavement. First is the subgrade or the existing soil, subbase course, base course, and our pavement course. As we can see, ang nagpro-protect ng subgrade and subbase is the base course. Therefore, the answer is letter D, base course. Number 21. Liquid limit of selected barrow for tapping. Based on DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 104.2, for selected barrow for tapping, the liquid limit shall not be more than 30. Therefore, the answer is letter D, not more than 30. Number 22, Plasticity Index of Selected Barrow for Tapping. Again, based on DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 104.2, for Selected Barrow for Tapping, the Plasticity Index should not be more than by 6. Therefore, the answer is letter C, not more than 6. Number 23, Reduction of voids due to the air being forced out of the soil pores. By definition, soil compaction occurs when soil particles are pressed together, reducing pore space between them. Kapag nag apply tayo ng compaction sa ating soil, na-eliminate yung air or yung void. Therefore, the answer is letter B, compaction. Number 24. Initially, when the water content is low, the soil is steep and difficult to compress. This leads to low densities, but as the molding water increases, the soil becomes more workable, resulting into higher compacted density because water acts as a lubricant. Letter A. Number 25. In soil subsurface and surface exploration for flood control design of foundation condition, a soil sample was taken for field and laboratory tests. The required tests for sample were taken except Yung gradation, water content test, and Atterberg limit test ay ginagawa natin ito sa soil, except abrasion. Ano ba yung abrasion test? Abrasion test, or Los Angeles abrasion test, is the measure of aggregate toughness and abrasion resistance, such as crushing, degradation, and disintegration. In short, yung abrasion test ay ginagawa sa aggregate. Therefore, the answer is letter B, abrasion. Thank you for watching and please watch part 3 of this video.